Hello, hello everybody from Las Vegas and the Author Nation Conference. So as suspected, I do not think I'm going to have time to sit down and edit vlog footage. It's just too hard on my laptop. I don't want to put any extra stress. So we're going to do some chatty updates. So technically this is my day 10 update. Uh, posting on day 11. So let's just chat a little bit about Author Nation and what I'm doing here and all that. And if you have any questions about author conferences or anything else that you want me to touch on while we do hopefully daily chatty updates, let me know. Um, so we are staying at the Horseshoe Las Vegas. I did not make my bed. <laughs> I apologize. Um, and so I'm just sitting here on the floor and taking a break from vendor day. But yesterday was a travel day and I am recording vlog footage for the entire trip and I'll just create one big like Las Vegas vlog when I get home. So I'll be home on Saturday, expect that vlog maybe Sunday or Monday depending on when I have time to put it together. But I am recording it. But yesterday was a travel day. I spent the morning with my family. Poor Evie was crying like, please don't go. I want to come with you. And that was so hard. You know, I, I decided this year with her turning five that it was a good year for me to go ahead and start going on conferences. My husband, George, doesn't work a normal job, so he's home with the kids. And it seemed like it was going to be fine. But in hindsight, I probably signed up for too many conferences this year too many obligations because I think it has been harder on Evie. Andrew doesn't really care. Evie has been just harder on her to have me gone so much and as she gets older that will change but I think probably too much this year so I'm going to slow it down next year. Um, this year I went to multiple conferences and every one of them have been amazing and worth going to but just too much travel on my family. So lesson learned but it's all been rewarding. Uh, so they uh, I got to see them in the morning. I left my house around 11 and drove to the airport. Flight, security, all that was super easy and smooth. Thank goodness, because I know travel can sometimes be very stressful if there's storms or other things going on. Uh, plus, I get a lot of travel anxiety after the trip I had home from Boston this year was scary on the plane. Uh, lots of like what felt like free fall drops and a big storm outside. And I just, I got really scared because it was just a rough flight. And so I feel like I've had some anxiety about what if this flight is like that. And luckily it was a super smooth flight, a little bit of bumps, but nothing too serious. And it was only about a two hour, 40 minute flight from Dallas to Vegas, direct flight. Super easy, just got in a lift not much traffic to get onto the strip into my room immediately even though it was only two and then i very quickly got dressed and went out to dinner at uh gordon ramsay's burgers restaurant and it was delicious like such good food we had such a good time and i was there with um steph green or she writes as stephanie holmes sasha black that many of you know from the rebel author podcast she's incredible and she's from the uk so i don't get to see her very often like don't get any chances to see her and she was a keynote speaker at this conference which was called 20 books to 50k last year and i did not get a chance to come to that conference so I was very excited that she was going to be here and we got to have dinner together last night. And then Jennifer Hilt, who wrote The Trope Thesaurus, many of you are familiar with her work as well. Um, who else was there? I'm trying to think who all was there with us last night. Um, Melissa Power, she is also incredible. She's part of our Hardy's community, um, but she has multiple pen names, so I'm not sure which one to call her by. Uh, but we got to sit together last night. We really had such a fun time. The burgers were good. The conversation was even better. We all got dressed up. We went out. We had such a fun time. And then we went to see Chris Angel, the Mind Freak show. And that was really fun too. I actually have been to see that show before and I have a little story about it. That So next month will be mine and my husband George's 15th wedding anniversary. And we got married here in Las Vegas at the Chapel of the Flowers. And George's best friend Frank, as a wedding gift, gave us tickets to go see Chris Angel's Mind Freak. And so we went the night of our wedding. <laughs> we got married in the morning. And then I changed into a tank top that said bride and I had my veil on and I had had my makeup done professionally, my hair done professionally. I just looked so good. And like we put on jeans and our like bride and groom shirts and went to the Chris Angel show. And if you're not familiar with Chris Angel, he's like one of the most popular 
magicians in the world, <laughs> illusionists. And it's so cool. It's not only uh, Mind Freak, which is all about like uh, spooky, scary stuff. Like, you know, he does straight jackets and stuff like that. But also just really cool illusions that you sit there and you go, how did he do that? There's no way that's not possible. And I still like some of the stuff he did last night. I'm like, I don't know how you do it. I know there's got to be a solution that's logical, but it really looks like magic and it's just super fun. And last night we had third row seats and he was like standing right next to us for part of it. And I think Jennifer Hill even got a fist bump from him. So that was cool. Um, but 15 years ago, George and I went to that show and one minute he's on stage talking and then he does some kind of like lights out. And the next thing we know, he's literally tapping on my shoulder. How did he get from there? We were not in the third row. We were further back. How did he do that? I don't know. Like you think body doubles, but that was him up there talking. I still don't know how he did it. But anyway, he was tapping on my shoulder. He's like, we have a lovely bride. Did you guys just get married today? And George was, who was like the biggest introvert, was just like blushing so hard. And he asked us our name and when we got married and he was talking about how it was his birthday. But you know what? I never looked it up to see if he was telling the truth or just it was part of the show. But that was like one of the best memories. And so to get to go back, the show is totally different because he's always evolving it. But it was really fun. And we screamed and we laughed and we all had a good time and then came back and, you know, did no writing. <laughs> I did no writing, no work, no anything. Um, just got a good night's sleep and I actually ended up sleeping over nine hours last night. The time zone change is strange because central time is Dallas. So when I woke up this morning at eight o'clock, it was really 10 o'clock Dallas time. Um, so that's kind of messing with my head just a little bit. And now I'm thinking, oh my gosh, I'm going to Australia next year. That's going to really mess with my head. But uh, that was kind of my yesterday and I just, I'm not going to keep you guys too long because I know Ines and I are going to go walking around. We might do some writing this afternoon. Today was a vendor day. So I'll talk about that more in tomorrow's update, but today was a vendor day where it was just like a huge convention room with all of like book funnel. I got this super cute book funnel Taylor Swift friendship bracelet and got to see Damon Courtney, who's one of my favorite people. And, you know, Dan Wood at draft to digital and meeting with the ladies at BookBub, And we just had a great time and got to talk to everybody. Russell Nolte at writer MBA, who I'm going to spend some time with later, but this is really one of the biggest author conferences out there. And so everyone's here and you get to see what is up and coming, what's already been in production. Like I got to go and talk to Vellum, the guy, that, Brad, that runs Vellum. And he's showing me features that even though I've had Vellum since the beginning of when they came out, I didn't even know about. So you get to learn a lot. But tomorrow I'll talk a little bit more about how I manage sort of the overwhelm of having so much to do. But I'll let you know, I'm speaking tomorrow on game board strategy at 11 a.m. So if you're here in Vegas and you happen to be watching this video, then uh, come see me tomorrow. It's going to be super good. Tomorrow is when all of the speeches start. And at this conference, it's so big. I think there's like five or six different presentations going on at a time. So it's impossible to get to everything. Um, so maybe I'll talk a little bit about how to navigate big author conferences, which conferences are good ones to go to. But if you have any questions about conferences, put them in the comments and maybe we can do kind of like a Q and a coffee chat style tomorrow, whenever I get a chance, but I don't know when I'll be updating because it's going to be a busy day and it might be evening updates or it might not be it till a Wednesday update, but thank you for being flexible. I know some of you were enjoying the daily vlog style, but it's impossible for me to keep it up while I'm here. I just am not going to be able to do it. So I'll just record everything and we'll get back to daily vlogs when I get home. But anyway, thanks for hanging out with me. No edits or anything um, here today. I have not had a chance. I didn't get a chance to write really at all yesterday. I mostly read um, book on the plane. I was reading Fourth Wing on the plane, which was very good to get a three full, almost uninterrupted hours of Fourth Wing. That book is so good. It's already got me gripped right from the start. So I'm excited to keep reading that. And then no writing was done. So I'm at zero words for yesterday. So far, zero words for today, but I'm about to grab my laptop and go meet with my friend Ines Johnson and maybe Sasha Black, and we're going to go find a place to write. So I don't usually write at conferences. So I'm completely pumped up for the fact that we're going to find a little bit of time to write. We also might go looking for the Hello Kitty Cafe, do a little bit of shopping and just some good 
friendship time together. So I'm looking forward to that. Um, but thanks for being flexible, you guys. Thanks for being part of the Rough Draft Challenge, Rough Draft Diaries, even if it doesn't look the same every single day. So let me know how your projects are going. Let me know if there's any topics that you want to see or questions you want to ask me to chat about over the next few days. And I will see you in my next video as soon as I get a chance to update you. All right. All my love, you guys. Bye.